Welcome back to my channel. This video is the excursion through Royal Caribbean of the cigar factory and the rum tasting and a, a bus tour as well. Uh, my friends and I went to Havana on Royal Caribbean Majesty of the Seas and this is the tour that we picked because you got a little bit of everything and you got to go in the cigar factory which we wanted to do because that's what they're known for. Where they do all the political speeches and stuff and also when the Pope comes to visit then he does mass here so it's considered like one of the most secure areas because it's where the pre president basically he built it to feel safer one of the presidents one of them yeah so the pictures are the political leaders kind of like a history and then you've got more Pope Francis and Pope Benedict have both done mass here. Yeah, we're just hanging out, checking out the square for a bit. Yeah. It's a nice day, great weather. Couldn't really have better weather. So awesome. Um, giving our my speech, that is uh, the place where we're gonna visit for by your Roman cigars and as well. In this place, they have a bar. So where well, they have a really good coffee. So they prepare a flamme coffee. That's uh, my suggestion for this place. So my, the way that really I'm, I'm gonna tell you that's gonna be easier. So first of all, you're gonna do your shopping because I don't know if getting busy or not. Sometimes I am the lucky tour guy that are coming and the place is empty. So if it's too crowded, don't worry about it because that means that those places are already finished they shopping and in a minute gonna get in empty we have enough time it's 10 30 so we're gonna have around 30 minutes in this place because so we must arrive in to the next place which one is a very beautiful restaurant but we're not gonna have lunch we're gonna have in a rum cigar and coffee tasting after here so that is what's gonna happen after you buy your cigars and from. So and at the same time, uh, we're gonna we are gonna in this place. I hope that we're gonna have opportunity for bathroom. <laughs> time to go shopping. This is where we're doing our shopping. You can get rum, coffee, and cigars here. So everything that Cuba is known for is inside of these doors. And if they tell you to go downstairs and come look at their stuff that they're selling, the answer is no. Don't do it. It's not a better deal. This is the last one here. Buying cigars is a bit overwhelming. It's he said that if you want another one, check the cigars, because this one is a... Uh, 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 these like are not as strong as the Monte Cristos down here. <laughs> these come in tubes. Monte Cristo's coming in tubes somewhere, we don't know where. There's a lot of options, we don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> These are a really good brand they fit, but... Well, they've got them right there. Yeah. Because those are really small. But yeah, those are really small. Do you want to get one for your dad? Because they've got like these small color ones. One? Yes. Yeah. Like he's got a Kobe Yeah. Then I, that way I can be like, you've got one of each of the top three. Yeah. Yeah. Also, at the place where I got the cigars, they have coffee. It was like impossible to video it because it's complete chaos. <laughs> But this is what we got. There's two kinds, one made in Havana and one that's still made in Cuba, but not Havana. This is the kind that is not made in Havana, but it's supposed to be a higher quality. So we bought some coffee and it's super cheap. Like this whole bag was only seven bucks. They are also known for their rum. The three year rum is supposed to be the best. Well, the best if you want to make like a, what is it? Cold brand Coke. 
Coke? Rum and Coke. Yeah. But if you just want to sip rum, you want the seven year rum because it's a dark rum. Rum and Make sure you have a guy with you to buy stuff because they don't like to deal with it. No, at all. It was very obvious and very frustrating because we, we were by ourselves. Just, we were not moving. No, we just stood there. No, and Matt had a panic attack and left us. <laughs> and then we handled it. We got our stuff though. So it all worked out. And you're in like a store, so you're not like in danger or anything. It's just they don't want to sell us anything. So we made it. Literally we walked out and I was like, that wasn't my favorite place, but it's done. It's like what you have to do in Cuba. <laughs> not pretty. Pretty. <laughs> Look at the two little love birds. Oh yeah. See like this is what I envisioned for Cuba. Finally, I'm gonna be able to shed the jacket. Oh, happy day. Walking around, taking pictures, having fun. This excursion is really nice in the fact that you can get like pictures and it's not overly crowded and you kind of get a little bit of everything. So far, no farmlands is like where they grow the tobacco. That's like one part of the cigars we won't see, which we were okay with for customs purposes. That can kind of get hairy if you go to a farm. But also in this excursion, you get to see everything you want to see without having to deal with like the, what do they call it, the undermarket, where you have to deal with, it's not regulated, where people are selling cigars on the side like they work in a cigar factory. Yeah, like there's no black market sketchiness. Yeah, it's all up and up. Yeah. And you feel safe and you feel like you're born and stuff. Yeah, and if you want to come to like a nice dinner and maybe like Salsa dance, what they say the other? Oh. Tropicana. Yeah. Then this is a good place to go. So. I don't know what the name of it is. Yeah, see, me neither. I haven't even seen the name like we'll written on anything. Outside. But yeah, we'll take a picture of the outside. And. I think it's 1830. Because I've seen that on several things. Yeah, there's a stage, so that's cool. Complejo 1830. I think that's the name of it because I've seen that on several things. C O M P L E J O. This is really pretty and set up really nice as you can see. Like, just look around. I mean, the napkins stand up, okay? What do you guys think? It's been interesting so far. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we went on that tour. Yeah. Cigar factory tour. We have some clips of it. They're gonna look different than the rest of the video because you're not supposed to take videos or pictures in there. We got some clips. Don't judge the quality. Okay? You can't like make sure the video is straight when you're not supposed to even be taking it. Oh. 
section of the video you are going to see the tour guide actually translate from the lady that worked at the restaurant we were at how to properly smoke a Cuban cigar they're also going to explain a little bit of how to drink the rum and a little bit about the rum but then they're gonna go back to cont continue to explain how to properly smoke a Cuban cigar it's pretty interesting um, the lady is speaking in Spanish but then the tour guide, the gentleman is translating it into English. So that's why you're going to hear two different people speaking. That's what's going on. And that's what you're learning in this next few, these next few clips. What we're going to do, we're going to start the stick of citrus and we're going to match the 45 degree position between the cigar and the fire. Approximately. And we're going to start to rotate the cigar. Try that the flame going into the center of the cigar. One side and one piece of citrus uh, are close to your fingers, the flame is close to your fingers. So you keep it rotating the cigar in this hand in order to keep it oxygen when you're going to start with another piece of citrus. We are going to have a small pop, but we are not going to inhale. We're gonna have a small pop, and the first pop we're gonna throw it. We're not gonna just we're gonna exhale, exhale but not exhale. We're gonna have a, a few pops in order that start very well the cigar, and then we throw it. We're not gonna taste this first uh, pop. I repeat this one because the, the beginning of the cigar is not it's where the cigar is very small. It's, very small. it's just it's starting. We are starting the cigar. And so, at the cigar, we must warm it the center nerve or the spine. We call it the spine. The cigar has one spine, so that is for combustion. And we need to warm this uh, beginning of the cigar. Let me, let me see, para, let me see somebody gonna start it. Yeah, let's see, try it. Okay. I need to hold the fire to the fire. I'm going to burn the tablecloth. Let me see. Drop it when it gets to your fingers. Yeah, perfect. The cedar from the outside of the rack. Yes. You always want to cut it right when you're going to smoke it. Keep warming. Just leaving this compartment. Keep it like a. Keep it moving. Like a, try to use in the most hand in order that also you can blow a little bit. I forgot my 
just one for a month. Got it. This flame is so big, so fast. more. <laughs> <laughs> The table has burn marks already. How do you know when it's like warm enough? It's because yeah, because it's not smoking yet. It's smoking a little, not a lot. God, look at that burns so fast. Okay, now I'm with the animal fur. Two, three times and having the shoot of rum in your mouth, you're gonna have only one flavor in your mouth. That is the combination, is the combined between the rum and Julian and uh, Havana Club special age. That is uh, when we found the rum who combined with the cigar is that thing that we feel right now. So that one flavor is not going over the another one. So the both are paired together. It's the same that we're gonna do with the coffee. We're gonna shoot with uh, we're gonna drink with a short shoot. Yeah, because if I take more than a short shoot of this room, I would be on the floor. And we are, uh, the coffee is without sugar, in order that pair better with the roasted flavor of the Roman Julius. And also, where is my coffee? <laughs> I don't drink, I don't drink alcohol, not because I'm working, I stopped to drink alcohol three years ago. Uh, I drink a lot before, not drunker, but <laughs> I used to drink one to two beers after I finished to work. And I get in sick, so I have colitis, and I should stop to drink. That is why I don't drink it now. I'm a smoke cigar. Not when I'm working, because I like to sit down in front of the seat and enjoy a cigar. Really, and I smoke one or two cigars in a week. Depend. Some days I'm working at night time, and I'm having some night exposure, and included some smoke. And yes, I like to coffee. I drink coffee. Morning, midday. Afternoon before 3 p.m. We say in Cuba we drink strong coffee, all of the coffee, so it's very strong and we say that it's healthy. So before 3 p.m. After 3 p.m., you're not gonna sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and as well, one tradition in our country, in Cuba, so at home we use this Italian machine, it's a boiler machine that we put in water and then we put the, the powder over. And we sweet the coffee in each family as the family like it. And if somebody comes to the house and we invite for coffee, they should drink the coffee with the should taste of sugar coffee. that each family has on recipe. It's a tradition in Cuba that we have a cook of a metal cook that passed generation by generation. And it's a cook that we sweet the coffee. So I'm waiting to my mom pass away to get in this. <laughs> coffee sweet and cook. So well, I'm going to tell you two main recommendations about whether you are smoking a cigar. First of all, uh, I think it's a little late. Do not inhale. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one, only smoke the first two-thirds of the cigar. So imagine put the cigar in three-thirds, only the first two-thirds. 
because uh, the way that they're producing are so in the factory they use as a natural filter and at the end they are keeping, keeping all of the nicotine and they're grown as a natural filter. I love the end part of the cigar. <laughs> it's the strongest one. And as well, a cigar, they have a regular flavor through the first two third, but at the end if you smoke the last third, the taste gonna change completely. <coughs> You don't need to drop the ash. You try to keep the ash on cigar. It's not like a cigarette that all the time the people drop the ash. No. On cigar, you try it keeping gentlemen or be really polite with the cigar in order to keep the ash. Usually the ash is a styled, styled uh, gray. And it's compact, they're not going to be dropped all the time. So the ash is going to tell us how good is the bar, how good is the cigar. The ash is going to talk with us and we're going to read the ash. In fact, every year in Habano Festival in Cuba, we have a competition about the largest ash. <laughs> yeah. Found the title for my video. Los habanos en este tienen diferentes tamaños, diferentes medidas. Esto es un habano de un recorrido medio y no requiere tanto tiempo para fumar. The habanos, they are going to have different, different vitolas, different shape, different size, and that is a medium habano in, in, in case of where we are sitting now, the Roman Union. So, and the time to smoke this cigar is around 20 minutes, approximately. Depend so how strong you make the pop, but it's around 20 minutes the time that you're gonna take to smoke this. If you don't have enough time to smoke the cigar in the moment where you use it, you can cut the cigar. So this is an action that we call you're gonna kill the cigar. Ah, diciendo que eso es una cosa que nosotros decimos que no lo dijiste tú, que nosotros más si lo cortamos matamos el cigarro. Sí, 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 no, 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 no. <risa> eh, pero si lo van a poder encender, porque yo no sé lo que tiene, uh -huh. no sé si lo voy a tomar. Que lo vuelvan a encender en el mismo día. Lo que no se recomienda es dejarlo para el día siguiente. Si tú cortas el cigarro porque no tienes suficiente tiempo para smoke it and you want to restart the cigar. Please do it in the same day. Do not hold it for the next day because the cigar is going to lose all of the processing. So in our case, we are going to have time to smoke the cigar. So all of this area, we're going to have the 20 minutes to smoke the cigar. And so, um, what's the time that you do not want to smoke more the cigar and you do not want to keep it? For another occasion, just leave it on the ash. Don't put the cigar, don't smash the cigar, just leave it there. Die the cigar very gentle. <laughs> so we leave it, we leave the cigar with dignity. <laughs> so on respect for it's on respect all of the culture where the cigar represents all of the people who have been working in to roll this cigar. So, uh, it's very in honor all of those persons who work in, who make it able that we can smoke this cigar right, right now. And also that is where we're going to wish you, for you all, that you can enjoy the rum, the habano, the coffee, and really have a very and a great experience today. Thank you so much. Some of you want to buy one empty box? 
Yeah. Here, yeah. they sell it in 20 bucks. Yeah. They sell it in 20. Okay. They would not do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, um, I was confused, only 10 bucks. Oh, it's so buy one, also they sell it out. That's oh. awesome. And let me. It down. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to keep your ash big. <laughs> you are not gentle. You are not gentle with the ash. Good job. Oh, no, you drink your coffee because you're not strong enough for the rum. Who is? Who can drink that rum? You've been sipping it. How? Yeah. I tried to sip them and it was like. So, bottom is the rum. The mojito? I actually like the mojito more than the rum. I'm glad you got the rum that's in the mojito and not the Cuba, and then it's got like all the souvenirs you could ever need. So we're about to go inside and see. And they did say this is a popular pickpocket location, so be careful about that. at the market we later went to the fort they do have a small market there but it was the same exact stuff but much more expensive so I'm going to show you a few things that we bought one including the shirt that I'm wearing make sure you check the sizes really close because I told them I wanted an adult small at one point they brought me a children's small and I was like that's not gonna work and then I got home and realized this is a kid's extra large so it's a little small but make sure you check the sizes really well and this other shirt that I got is really soft, so I like that, but it is kind of a strange fit, but I still think it's really cute. And I got these little coffee cups with the saucer. Uh, I got a couple of these, and they're the same ones we used at one of the restaurants that we checked out. And also got this little espresso coffee cup. I picked up several of these little toy wooden cars. Um, they were pretty inexpensive. Some of them actually had styles where the trunk or the hood would raise up. This particular one does not, but the wheels do move, which is kind of cool. And it says Cuba on it, which is something I really look for when giving someone, I bought them as some little souvenirs for some kids. Uh, so I, I wanted it to say Cuba so that they knew where it came from whenever it goes into their mini toy pile or toy box. I also picked up a cigar box. Uh, it is one that you could actually store cigars in, um, but I'm just using it to collect other things like jewelry or whatever off my dresser. Um, they had tons of different styles of these, tons of different price ranges. I didn't go with the most expensive because I knew I wasn't going to store cigars, um, but this was something else that I picked up. Another thing they had a lot of with a lot of different prints on the front are leather journals. They have a lot of leather products. I didn't want to get anything too big because I have heard of bad experiences of people getting leather from other countries and the funky smell just never went away. So I stuck with something pretty small, um, but I like these. You can definitely, um, they're online, just white pages. You can definitely argue prices with them, haggle a little bit. We did book our excursion through Royal Caribbean, but if you wanted to book it separate, this is the company we were using. Like this is the feedback survey, so it has all their information on it. Yes. Very good. Doesn't Which matter highly, which land highly it is. Only you need. Please like my video, comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my channel for other Cuba videos. Thanks for watching.